As you step, boom, 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 two. Harman and Liam McGrandles are fighting off Corfit UK in Birmingham. And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of how from orthodox position you can step forward into southpaw whilst throwing other attacks um, to create different angles and to throw your opponent off to land some uh, solid shots through the guard. And I've got Nathan Epps here to help me demonstrate the techniques. So first what I'm going to do is in the, from this orthodox position, as I step forwards, my right leg into southpaw, and we throw the right hand, okay? You want this just coming through pretty much at the same time. As you step, throw the right hand, because then it, it ups the speed of, um, and it really reduces the time that they've got to react from the, they're thinking it's gonna be a knee or a low kick, to then get that guard up to block the punch, okay? Because as soon as they see this leg move, people might think it's a leg kick, a front kick coming in, okay? And then as you step, Right, right cross, straight down the middle, okay? So now I'll do that a little bit faster. So I'm gonna step, boom, right cross, okay? And now for me landing here, I've just landed the shot, okay? And you might find the now position, so you can easily land the left knee, solid straight to the ribs. Okay, so again, faster, boom, step, then knee, then back. Okay, and I'll do that once more. As you step, boom, boom, then back, okay? Now from the other angle, so I'm going to go step, boom, punch, and again, land that left knee. Another thing to remember is when you're stepping, it's very easy as you're stepping in front of that right cross to end up over here. So it's quite natural to move there, but if you land in this position, it's very hard to land the left knee after. As your body's turned this direction, it's hard to then generate any power here. Okay, so make sure as you're stepping, boom, your foot's pointing forwards to your opponent, then you get to drive the knee comfortably. So now for that a little bit faster, as a step, punch, knee. Then back to the stats. And now the next technique we're gonna do, again, orthodox position, stepping in, rather than a punch this time, we're gonna step in with an, an elbow, okay? And we're gonna go right up, get elbow right in the middle. Okay, so as I step forward with my back foot, I'm gonna drive my elbow through up the guard there, okay? And what's effective about using the up elbow, okay, is if people's guards are quite square here, there's a gap down the middle. And if it's a side elbow, you can almost get caught on the gloves, but the up elbow straight out of the middle and then straight up the guard to again maybe cut or knock your opponent out. So I'm going to step forward, back leg, and then drive up there, keeping this hand nice and tight, because if you're in range to elbow them, then they're also in range to elbow you. Okay, so you want to be really careful here, so make sure you don't get caught on the way in. So now, after I've landed that elbow, a lot of people's normal reaction is to cover up here really tight because they've just been hurt. So then what we're going to do is we're going to pull one of the hands down to open the guard, and then bang, left elbow straight through. Okay? So if we watch that again nice and slow, I'm going to step, elbow, pull down, elbow. Okay? And you want it to be quite like a nice, fast, crisp movement from going the elbow here to then pulling the guard down. Yeah? It's almost like two motions. You go one, two straight away. Then bam, okay? And obviously with both elbows again, connecting with the point of your elbow to get maximum damage. So now a little bit faster, I'm gonna go one, two, there, then back. And again, one, two, then back to your stats. Now from the other angle. Again, it's this back leg what's um, allowing you to land this shot. If you just look, if I'm just launching in here to land the elbow, people have got loads of time to cover up. But this movement of the back leg, they're thinking that loads of te they've got loads of options in their head that what technique with the right leg might be coming, okay? So that gives them that bit of hesitation, so then you can land the shot. So again, as I step in, bam, pull down, elbow. And again, nice and slow. Bam, bam. Okay, now I'll do them a little bit faster. And now the last Last technique we're gonna do from that stepping is um, using that to then land the reverse elbow, okay? So, we're gonna start off this combo, we're gonna set it up, we're gonna go jab, right round else to begin with. So as your textbook, jab, right kick, then land back to your stance, okay? And now, this step to land into southpaw, what I spoke about earlier, we, as um, you step into knee, you don't wanna to step too far over here. Now, we're gonna use that and step over, okay? So, it's a fight to the right roundhouse. Make it look as if you're going to throw the kick. Step over. 
four, pointing over this way, then you're going to rotate and throw the left reverse elbow. Okay? So watch that again, nice and slow. Go jab, pump, right kick. That lands, okay? Then we're going to fake the right kick with the step over into southpaw and then rotate and left reverse elbow. Okay? Again, rotate as much as possible to get the point of your elbow through the guard. Okay? Now I'll do that a little bit faster. Jab. There, and then back. Once more there. And back. Okay, and now the other angle. Go a little bit slower again. So, jab, right kick. Make it look like you're right kicking again. This angle here. Step over as before. Left reverse elbow. Okay? Again, this step, it's again, it's to make them cover up. It's to make them hesitate, make the guard come loose. And then you're going to find that gap for the reverse elbow. One, two. Again. And like I said in one of my previous tutorials, when you're doing this fake as well, you want to make sure you're doing it at good speed, okay, to get that flinch out of them. If you do it too slow, they won't even react, and they might even be able to land a shot on you as you're trying to throw it, okay? Once more, bam. Step over, elbow, okay? And now a little bit faster. Last one. Thank you for watching my tutorial on stepping from orthodox to southpaw to learn different techniques. You can um, look for more information on us, on us on our social media. Mine's on Facebook, Liam McGrundles Muay Thai, and Instagram, Liam McGrundles, and Nathan Epps on Instagram, he's Nathan Epps. Thank you.